But let's go right ahead and throw yesterday's show in the trash bin because that's where it belongs. Really, no way to hand wave those results. I apologize. All I can do is promise to be better today because Lord knows it can't get any worse than it was on Thursday here on the Power 5. Still, a really strong 67-41-4 overall run here uh, on the show. We bounce back on Friday with four plays from Major League Baseball. Plus, I've got a little something for you early on Saturday. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these selections. You can feel free to tell me how bad yesterday's picks were. I don't mind. It's They were. All right, for today, number one. The Yankees, minus 145 on the money line against the Red Sox. It's now back-to-back nights. The Yanks have walked it off in extras, including last night, against these very Red Sox. Bats are not doing much in the Bronx lately, that's for sure. Six of the last seven games, the Yankees have been held to four runs or less. However, don't be surprised if they awake from their uh, September slumber tonight against Tanner Houck, who has allowed seven runs and two starts against the Yankees this season. That's in only nine and a third innings. And get this, uh, eight walks from Houck against the Yankees in those two starts. That seems concerning. You've also got that terrible Red Sox bullpen in play, worse than MLB since the All-Star break, that should theoretically provide New York with some other chances to score runs. I like Clark Schmidt, tonight's starter for the Yanks. He was excellent in his return from the IL, as a matter of fact. Uh, last week, he goes four and two-thirds shutout innings. You go back to May... Schmidt has a minuscule .92 ERA his last five starts. So I look for the Yankees to win again Friday. Number two, Rays Guardians over 7.5. Going to try this again as it was a painful loser yesterday uh, on the show. If you caught any of Thursday's game between these two teams, then you know it was trending nicely towards the over early on. Game was 3-2 to two after the top of the fourth. All we needed at that point were three more runs, and we only got two. Rays won 5-2, and over the course of the game, Two runners, one on each team, were thrown out at home. That is a killer. Uh, again, the numbers say Progressive Field has become a hitter-friendly park this season. 38-27-4 to the over. Guardian starter Tanner Bybee has a 4.54 ERA here at home. I think we get enough runs tonight from the Rays and Guardians to go over the total. Speaking of runs, how about the Rockies team total over? The Rockies are returning home to face the Cubs. They avoided a sweep on Thursday in Detroit, and we all understand the massive difference in offensive production we get we see from Colorado at Coors Field versus on the road. Just to quantify that, the team averages just 3.46 runs per game on the road this season. That's third fewest in all of baseball. But at Coors, the number jumps to 5.01 per game. That's third most runs uh, for any team at home. The number today... Team total, just four and a half. Juice to minus 120. I'll lay that juice. Javier Assad, the starter for the Cubs, he's not the same pitcher away from Wrigley. His ERA, in fact, goes up by new, nearly two full points on the road. So Rockies team total over four and a half. Number four, Braves minus 110 versus the Dodgers. Neither of these teams playing all that well at the moment. Both have lost four of seven. How, uh, and when these teams met out in LA earlier this year, Braves got swept. That's not going to happen this weekend in Atlanta. And I like the Braves Friday because Spencer Schwellenbach uh, has been absolutely tremendous. He's on the mound. He Well, he wasn't tremendous in his last start. It was actually the worst start of his big league career. But prior to that, he'd given up three runs or fewer in seven consecutive starts. I prefer Schwellenbach over fellow rookie Landon Knack for the Dodgers. Note, the Dodgers have closed at a plus price only five times all season. They have lost three of those five games. Just something to monitor with the line movement in this one. Guys, don't forget about that great special offer we've currently got going on at wagertalk.com. You can get all of my NFL and college football for the next four weeks for only $199. That's less than $50 per week, obviously. For me, it was a winning week one in NFL. Plus, going back to last season, I'm on a 25-11 and 11 run in college football. 67% start this season, 6-3 and three. last Saturday. I nailed all three CFB sides, including Northern Illinois against Notre Dame. Also had San Jose State over Air Force, UL Monroe over UAB. Guys, those three sides covered the point spread by a combined 81 and a half points. My word. Uh, I've got a 4% CFB best bet locked and loaded for Friday. It is a side. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash bp. And don't forget to check out that special offer. Just $199 for the next four weeks of football, NFL, and college. Okay, we now close out today's edition of the Power 5 with some football. Uh, the strangest of places to close out the Power Five, that being Italy. For a little early Serie A on Saturday, Juventus at Empoli. 
Both sides still unbeaten this year. Just follow me if you don't know these teams, guys. Uh, if this is something you're unfamiliar with, all you need to know is Juventus is a team that regularly competes for a championship in Italy, while uh, Empoli, uh, they barely escaped relegation last season. We're able to get Juventus at around minus 140 on the money line Saturday. That seems like a steal to me. They've already taken money, so I'm not alone in thinking Juve is the right side here. The numbers for them uh, look really good. Fewest number of shots faced among all teams in Europe's top five leagues this season. Juve is number one in Italy in both shot conversion rate and successful passes. Meanwhile, uh, Empoli, this is just the second time in club history. They've been unbeaten through the first three matches. They're due to lose one. Juve, Juventus on the money line it is. By the way, that's a noon Eastern start tomorrow. All right, real quick recap of the Power Five for Friday. Yankees minus 145 on the money line. Gets the Red Sox. Number two, Rays Guardians over seven and a half. Three, Rockies team total over four and a half. Four, Braves minus 110 versus the Dodgers. And number five, Juventus minus 140 in Serie A tomorrow. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. By the way, if you're looking for more soccer, I've got my number one Premier League bet for the week available at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Go back to last April. I'm on a tremendous 35-18-3 run with all soccer, including 9-0-1, my last 10 bets in the Premier League. Cash Brentford over Southampton in an easy 3-1 win two weeks ago before the international break. How bad is Southampton? Uh, so don't miss that. Don't miss that 4% best bet for college football tonight. Oh, by the way, that EPL Play of the Week goes very early on Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern. You're also going to want to remember to subscribe to the Wager Trick YouTube channel if you already haven't done that. I'll be dropping the college football edition of the Power 5, the all-college football edition of the Power 5 for Saturday later today. Of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. Adam Trigger joining us again today on the show. So that's going to do it for the Friday edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you already haven't done that. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.